Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I feel like, honestly, I feel like in the past somebody said that they wanted to work on things with you. Um, they said that they wanted to work on things with you. I, I feel like they may have made plans with you. You guys were collaborating together. Everything was great. And then all of a sudden, boom. Uh, it's, it's as if they, you know, judge somebody made a very quick judgment call very suddenly and kind of like pulled the rug right out from underneath you. Um, like, I feel like this was a huge surprise. Um, it was a sudden tower moment. It was like a kick in the gut for you because they, they, they told you they wanted to work on things with you, uh, work, you know, as a team, collaborate, make plans for the, this could be somebody who was making plans for the future. This could even be somebody who, um, you know, was working with you on some kind of special project or something. Take it however it resonates. In a love reading, though, I'm seeing this as somebody who um, was making plans with you. It seemed like they were, it was going to work out, and then all of a sudden, poof, they were gone. Yeah. You found another, and pff, you were gone. That's what I'm hearing, honestly. Where, where are you tonight? Where is that from? Why did you leave me here all alone? And I feel like that was your question. Where, where are you? Why did you leave me here all alone? You said you, you know, you said you were going to work with me on everything. We were making plans. I searched the world over and I thought I found true love. You met another and you were gone. That's what I'm hearing here. I think it's from Hee Haw. Is that from Hee Haw? There was a, like this country bumpkin show a long time ago called Hee Haw. And I think that's where it's from. But yeah, I, I'm pretty, I feel like that's what it was. They, they chose somebody else and they were just like gone. And now whoever did that, um, who, whoever made that sudden, judgment call here now they're regretting it now they're carrying the burden of you know why did i do that why did i treat the collective that way why did i just and gone why did i do that right um <clears throat> clarify this five of wands for the collective yeah this person walked away I'm kind of getting the feeling like they may have thought that you could have had other options. Or maybe they heard that you may have had other options. And I feel like I know, I know, but what I'm, I don't see it out here, but what I'm feeling like here is that they, they wanted to leave you before you left them. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. Um... I get the feeling like you you weren't entertaining anybody. They left you sitting here. Why did you leave me here all alone? You were all alone. I feel like this person thought you had other people in the picture with you, and they were wrong, and then they were gone, okay? They walked away here, thinking that you had other people around you. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Divine. But they left you all alone. You didn't have anybody around you. As a matter of fact, I feel like this person just kind of ghosted you at the drop of a hat without, without asking you about it, without trying to find anything out about it. They thought you were entertaining others. And they left. And I feel like um, they met another and... Maybe that's how they felt you were going to do for, to them is meet somebody else and then you'd be gone. So I feel like this person left you before you could leave them. And they didn't even talk to you about it. They just ghosted you, left you sitting here, made a really quick judgment call, and didn't give you any clarity. I think you've been on your own this whole time. Um, you could be a Gemini, uh, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, I'll just call out the signs, okay, I've got Scorpio, heavy, actually, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, 
Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, they thought that you had some other love. They may be getting clarity on that, though, now, but um, that is what they were thinking. That you were talking to someone else or somebody else was talking on you, maybe online. I feel like now they want to come in and reunite here. Um, they're very burdened by this. I feel like they realize now what they did, okay? And, um, oh man, they may have actually married somebody else here. Clarify this Queen of Pentacles energy. I'm seeing this as somebody who, who actually wants to reunite with you, but yeah, they could have gotten... Um, yeah, I feel like this person's stuck somewhere else. Uh, you know, here's the thing. I, they, they're still wondering, did, are you hiding somebody else? Are you with somebody else? Uh, this person has a major issue with that. Like, I don't know if it's a uh, low self-esteem or what, but that was their big concern before, and that's why they walked out and ghosted this connection. I feel like this person really has some self-esteem issues here that they need to heal from because they constantly are like, who are you with? Who are you with? Who are you talking to anybody else? Who are you with? Their paranoia is really getting the best of them. They think that you have somebody else hidden. This person's really paranoid, like, all the time, burdened by all of this. This is something that they think about all the time. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune here. Look, at this is them. I, what I really feel like is this person, you know, this is usually having some kind of, of epiphany, right? Um somebody who sees things from a different perspective. I don't think they're seeing anything from a different perspective. I think they're still concerned that you're out seeing other people, that you're entertaining others. I mean, you know, they're paranoid about this king or this knight of cups. They're paranoid about this six of wands person. Are you seeing all of these people too on the side? Like what's going on, right? It's like they're constantly paranoid about it. I don't know why that is, because it looks to me like you, in fact, are alone. You're sitting here alone, and if this is your energy, you're more than worthy of a commitment here. Your Queen of Pentacles energy, this is the busiest queen in the deck to me. This is a queen that takes care of, like, freaking everything. Um, you could be a boss, business owner, but you also are taking care of the children, the home. The errands, the laundry, the dishes, the business, the job, the money, paying the bills, the errands, everything, everything. This is the everything person. So I kind of get the sense that you're the kind of person that somebody would want to settle down with. And you're not just out there seeing all these other people. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. And this person's just paranoid. But yet at the same time... They're missing you. They're missing you. And they're just stuck in this loop. But it's in their own mind. It's in their own mind. It's all in their head. They, they constantly are... I don't know who this is for, but this person is one paranoid person. Constantly... And, and it's almost like they don't trust you, and they don't even talk to you about it. They just constantly are um, suspicious. There we go. I'm hearing Suspicious Minds by Elvis. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. Yeah, but they're the ones who are suspicious here. It seems like they ghost you, and you constantly are, like, uh, waiting to hear what the crap, why, did you ghost me? Or you're working on your home, your family, your responsibilities. Like, you're not out here playing around. I don't think you have a whole lot of people around you. And this person can't get their mind off of you yet. They're so um, 
It's like constant. Who are they with? Who are they with? I know they're with somebody else. You know, it's that kind of feeling. So it's like they know they love you and they know they miss you and they want an opportunity with you, but they refuse to allow themselves to come towards you and actually trust that you're not going to be cheating on them behind their back. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. I don't know who this is for. So take it however it resonates with you. You could be a Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Your person could be a Pisces. We're heavy on Scorpio here, guys. Pisces and Scorpio. And there's Pisces. They want to apologize for this person. They want to apologize for their in and out energy, but I still don't see that they actually trust that you're not going to be entertaining other people. Like, I don't know what their trust issue is all about. You could be a cancer or they could be a cancer. I mean, this person, I feel like they're constantly thinking that you're going to break their heart, but they're actually breaking your heart. Yeah, heavy on Pisces energy here too. Pisces and Scorpio in particular. Yeah, now they want a new beginning with you though. Now they want to come forward and try it again. <clears throat> Maybe this person needed to heal, you know, they needed to heal from past heartache. This is somebody who could have been cheated on in the past, um, like maybe a lot, or um, maybe they had some like third party situation heartbreaks in the past, you know, and they haven't been able to get over that. I feel like too with the hangman position is, you know, maybe they're still a little bit stuck with that, you know, inability to trust all the way, but yet they're seeing this from a new perspective, which makes me think that, you know, maybe they're realizing that was in their head. It's all, it's them. And they could have been carrying the burdens of past heartache around with them, you know, because now this person wants to come in and give it a chance. They want to come in for a second chance with you here. And you're moving forward, collective. You're like, I don't, I don't know what happened, but I'm not dealing with no, you know, mistrust and not knowing what's going on and nobody talking to me about stuff. Like, if this person would have come and explained, look, I've got a problem I'm really worried about, you know, I think you might be with somebody else, I'm kind of, you know, I mean, not many people can do that. But if they did, it could have been cleared up. Because honestly, I don't see you with anybody else. And I've got the competition card out here, people fighting. I've got this love offer here. I've got, I've got all the right cards for, for you to be with somebody else, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it, especially with these two. With these two cards, these two cards here tell me that you weren't entertaining anybody else. I don't see you in a commitment with anyone else. I see you being ghosted here and sitting by yourself waiting for answers. I feel like they were thinking the whole time that you were with someone else. Now they're seeing that that wasn't true. Um... And I feel like they're just in a lot of pain. They're realizing this was all a burden that they were carrying. It was all in their head. Um, and this is like man down. Okay, this is somebody who, seriously, they, they, they can't take it anymore. This was such an awesome connection. And they know that. They know how strong of a connection this, this was. And they, they messed it up. By not trusting you. They messed it up by accusing you of being with other people, even though they didn't accuse you of that. They just thought, well, the collective's got other people on the side. 
um, I'm going to slip out before they can hurt me. You know what I mean? They didn't even bother to talk to you about it. That's the same as ghosting. I don't care what the reason is. They ghosted you and left you sitting there wondering what the heck just happened. And you didn't do anything, man. You didn't do anything. You actually, you're a very loyal um, person here. You're very committed to the things that you're putting your energy into. You're loyal. You're dedicated. And you were alone through this. So, yeah, I feel like this person knows that now. And uh, they're feeling like they just lost out on, like, probably the best soulmate connection they'll ever have. I'll just go ahead and say that. The best soulmate connection they'll ever have. Definitely a past life soulmate connection here that's now coming to an end with the Wheel of Fortune. And I feel like um, you're, you're healing from this still. Um, you know, you could either be a tarot card reader or they could have gone and gotten some tarot card readings or be they could be listening to tarot readings with the high priestess and the star out here. Um, if this is your energy, you're very skilled at what you do. You're a healer, an empath, a leader. This person could be watching you like obsessively all up in their emotions, whatever, either, either you're the reader or they're getting tarot readings, okay? And it's making them extremely emotional. They're realizing, that's what the same thing that the tarot reader is telling this person, man, dude, you just lost out on a ten of cups. What were you thinking? Like, seriously, that's what they're telling them. What were you thinking, man? You just lost out on the Ten of Cups. They're, they're being told there was no one else. You were dedicated. You would have loved this person. And you both would have been really happy together. And they, they screwed it up. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Like I said, heavy on Pisces and Scorpio, guys. Um, now they're all up in their emotions trying to hide it. Um, wanting to reach out to you, wanting a new beginning. This person's really kind of afraid of opening up to love. I, I have to say, there's just something that they don't trust about love. I feel like the fact that uh, this was such a strong connection kind of blew them away, made them really nervous. They second-guessed everything and they scooted quickly. They could have gotten with somebody else, right? Um, but now it's like they know what it is that they want. They know what it is that they want. You're their wish fulfillment here. You're this person's wish. They could be doing a lot of drinking right now. See, look, they're still, you know, this person may have had other options as well. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just seeing them kind of looking around to see if you've got other options. Once again, I feel like this is somebody who kind of drives themselves crazy. They spend a lot of time in their head. They're, they're having a hard time trusting, opening their heart, speaking their truth. And I feel like the justice in this is the fact that, one, they can see you being very abundant, and two... Um, you, you may be getting new love here. There could be new options around you now because you're out in the public eye. People are noticing you. Um, you're very beautiful. You're very healing and nurturing and you're attracting a lot of attention. So now I feel like the universe has really given this person something to worry about. There could be a lot of gossip about you moving forward, moving on, or they could just see you in a time of celebration. You could be going out with friends, looking beautiful, posting your picture on Facebook or social media, um, and they're seeing this. 
Now they get to watch you actually go out there and find new love. I feel like that's what this is. You're putting yourself out there. People are noticing you. Um, I feel like you're going out with your friends and there could be gossip about you, but now they're really stressed out because now their biggest fear is actually about to come to reality. It's actually about to happen. Because this person just couldn't learn to trust. They couldn't learn to communicate with you. They, they didn't... Ah, it was like a huge misunderstanding or this person just acting out of paranoia and fear. But now their worst fears are happening, okay? You are going out. You are gorgeous. You are the star. You are attracting attention. You know, you're, you are putting yourself out there. You are mixing up a new soulmate connection. You are trying new things. If this person is losing their mind now, now they're losing it. When they had you, you were dedicated to this person and they thought you, you know, they left before you could leave them with somebody else, right? For somebody else. They didn't trust you. Now, after all of this time, now that they want to give this a second chance, you're putting yourself out there and you're trying to manifest new love. It's, it's such a flip, guys, I'm telling you. And they're literally, they're beside themselves. We got the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords. This person can't stop thinking about it. They need to get out of their head and take some kind of action, okay? Um, they absolutely hate it. They're losing their mind over the fact that you're going out and putting yourself out there because um, you're the one that they they really want you. They want a new beginning with you, but their biggest fear is about to happen. I'm telling you, it's kind of sad for your person. I feel like they've dealt with cheaters and stuff in the past, and this, this person just had a really hard time trusting. They weren't ready. They needed to heal from that. I think I think they have been healing. They're going within. Okay? They've been going within. They've been watching you like a hawk, keeping track of you. Everything that you're doing, if you're posting it online, this person's watching you. Everything. Okay? They're just... They, can, they cannot stop thinking about this. This person is obsessing. This is a nightmare. For your person, a nightmare, can't sleep, worried that you're going to get with somebody else, you know, I feel like um, the, the hermit card, that to me is starting the healing process, they're going within, asking themselves, why did I do this, why can't, why did I, why did I do that? Because they really, I mean, they had something really special here. They had something really special, but, but their suspicious mind blew it. Wow. This could be your twin flame here. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. You could be um, a Sagittarius, maybe, or a Gemini. What action is this person going to take? What action are they going to take? Right now, they're still up in their head. This person and their overthinking, that's a big problem for them. Um, I feel like they want to talk to you. They want to take some kind of action towards you. I, I, I don't know if you're going to talk to them or not. Because it looks like you've got your boundaries up. Now you don't trust this person. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Now you don't trust them. Now they trust you, but you don't trust them. It's, everything is flipped, guys. This one wants to come out. That was on the bottom of the deck. They, they could fly in really fast. Ah, oh, geez. I, 
I feel like they could fly in really fast um, to try to talk to you here, try to do whatever they can to turn this around. This person could even bring you a little gift. Um, I feel like they may want to start over. I know they want to start over, but I mean, they, they may want to start slow, slowly. Get to know you guys slowly again. Build that trust back up between you. You know, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Expect communication from this person. It's coming towards you really, really fast. Okay? And I feel like even though we've got a page and a knight here, I feel like this is the same person's energy. Just can I, can I try anything? Can I talk to you? Here's a little gift. Let's, let's work on this slowly. Okay? They're going to try to do anything they can to turn this around and get that trust back, but I think you're already um, putting yourself out there. You're already healed. You're, you've got your, uh, I don't want to say your defenses up, but you don't trust this person and you got your boundaries up, okay? Um, yeah, I'm not so sure that this is going to work. Give me one more. Put one on the magician for me, please. They could even send in a couple other people to talk to you for them. Try to, and maybe these two people, in, for some of your people, not all of them, but um, they could send in two other people to talk to you, maybe to get information, see if this can be turned around. Clarify the Magician. Yeah, they're, they're remembering how good this um, connection really was. And I feel like they're realizing you did nothing wrong here. This was all in their head. And it, it was, a, I feel like, past trauma, to be honest, that they needed to heal from. Give me one on the Magician, please. Clarify the Magician for me, for the Collective. Yeah, they don't know what to do. They just don't know what to do. They, they're they're going to try anything, anything that they can. They don't know if it's going to work or not. They don't know if they're going to be able to get this back. Um, they're just going to try anything. That's the feeling that I'm getting. They're coming back around. You're going to hear from this person. They they want you to trust them again. And they they need to work on the trust issues too. Okay? But yeah, that's what I got from this reading. Um, let's see if I can get you some advice, Collective. What's the advice for the Collective tonight? I don't know who this is for. It seems like it, it's kind of specific. Um, so it's definitely not going to be for all of you. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got Aries energy out here too, and Aquarius. You could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini. Kind of heavy at Gemini here, guys. But the trust, trust issue thing for this person is... Over the top, bad. Let's see. Yeah, round and round and round and round. I feel like this person kept you sitting here for so long. And I feel like the divine is telling you, you know, here, overthinking, right? The thinker. It's time to sweep that out. I feel like you have an overthinker that can't stop. Um... It's like the scenarios in their head run away with them. Like they've got a really vivid imagination that they actually believe. And it holds them back a lot from their happiness. And I feel like it's just time to chop wood because this person, I don't think this is you, Collective. I think it's your person. They'll overthink this whole situation to death. I feel like it's just something they, I mean, they can't seem to get out of their head. They can't seem to get out of their head. And it's constant. When is this person going to cheat on me? When is this person going to cheat on me? I feel like you're already manifesting something new here with the divine. 
The divine already has something new coming in. Yeah, that's this. They've heard your manifestations, and it's already in the works. I feel like your advice here with this round and round situation, once again, too much thought, right? I feel like it's to clean it out. Sweep it out. Sweep out the overthinker. That's that's the... That's the advice that I'm getting here because you're about to be blessed with your milk and honey from somebody new, new people in the community here. You're moving. I feel like you guys are going to be moving forward um, into your land of milk and honey happiness. You're, this is this is that ten of cups. This is ten of cups here. Okay. And I feel like that's coming from, from it's, you're going to find it someone with someone else in the community. I feel like um, this is going to keep going round and round and round because this person has major trust issues. They need to heal from whatever trauma they've been put through. I have to say it. They need to heal from that. Um, and until they do, it's going to keep going around and around and around. The divine doesn't want that for you anymore. And you've already started asking for something new. And I feel like it's coming. Okay, it's coming here. You've got new love coming in, but you're going to have to sweep out the old, um, the stuff from the past to make room for the new.